19-year-old Adelaide Crow Lachlan Scholl is yet to play an AFL game, but he's already preparing for life after his football career. What you've got in your footy while you're in the footy system is an opportunity to explore. Yep. Like wherever and whatever you sort of want to go. Deep in conversation with AFL Players Association Regional Manager Jace Bodie, who helps players identify their interests outside the game and pathways to a post-football career. So players have a lot of transferable skills um, and so they also have a great op- great network um, to draw upon um, from being within the, the AFL environment. What are you thinking outside of this year, study-wise or exploring? Every one of our players are involved in either some study or some work experience or some um, activities that are going to help uh, develop them uh, to, to provide themselves with employment outside of footy. Sympathy for past players can be in short supply given their big salaries, but post-football mental challenges are a real problem. AFL Players Association research suggests more than a third of its members struggle to adapt after leaving behind the structure, resources and guidance provided by a football club. Carlton great Anthony Kudafidi said he became lost and suffered depression. Ex-Crow Wayne Carey said it was like he'd lost a family. You go from being wanting to be an AFL footballer to being an AFL footballer to told that you're no longer an AFL footballer um, and then you know, trying to find structure and and meaning and purpose is, is really difficult. Former Crow and Carlton player Chris Massey is another who did it tough. Even though I was somewhat emotionally ready, I still struggled uh, with that transition. But he's become one of the past player success stories, running a thriving personal training business in the city. And go, bring it home. Go speed, go speed, go Pete, go Jude. Yes, Dad, go, go start. I was always in and out of the side and therefore I knew that one day footy was going to end. And box. And change. I think I always was somewhat aware that I needed a plan B or a, or a backup. While acknowledging the advances in preparing players for life after football, Massey believes more needs to be done. There needs to be greater care provided for not just the player's performance, but more about their heart and more about who they are as people. Find out what else they're passionate about, what else they're curious about, what else really fires them up and allows them to figure out about the watch on their, ri- on their wrist. And speak to people who have potentially monetized that particular passion and go and seek out them and connect with them. And therein lies the challenge for people like former Melbourne player and current Norwood captain Bodie, convincing young men they're more than just footballers. Thank you, big man. Hey, thanks for coming by.